Experiencing loss and dealing with it every day is an inevitable part of owning a pet. When we had Max five years ago, sobrang perfect timing dahil um, that was the time na I lost my princess type na Shih Tzu na si Paquito. The original Paquito. Dahil sa Parvo. And the vet said na um, kailangan magkaroon ako ulit ng fur bebe aside kay Taburno para mabawasan yung lungkot ko. So when my husband came home with Max, sobrang saya ako dahil unang-una Siberian Husky yung breed niya. And aside from that, masaya ako dahil may kasama na ulit si Taburno. And they get along well, lalo na sinasama namin sila pagka may rampa kami. This year, nag-start magkasakit si Max. Nagkaroon siya ng hot spot sa may tagiliran ng katawan niya. And then, nag-urinate siya ng blood. So, dinala ko kaagad siya sa vet. Kinuhaan siya ng dugo doon. Pinacheck ko yung sugat niya. And then, the following day, paglabas ng result, ang sabi sa akin ng doktor, normal naman yung blood test niya for the kidney at saka sa liver. Pero, um, ini-insist ko na ba't umiihi siya ng dugo? So, ibig sabihin, may problema. Tinanong ko kung anemic ba si Max, hindi naman daw. So, nagbigay si Bila ng supplements for the blood. And tinanong ko no, kung wala ba silang ibibigay na antibiotics for the hot spot. And sabi nila, hindi naman bacterial, fungal, or viral yung source ng sugat ni Max. So, ang ibibigay nila, um, cream. Max passed away nang hindi nauubos lahat ng ano niya, ng gamot. And then we're still wondering kung ano ba talaga yung cause of death niya. And it was really hard, lalo na sa akin, dahil nung namatay siya, ako lang yung nandito. Um, for the first time, na-witness ko kung paano mamatayan talaga ng alagang hayop. The following day, I decided to contact um, Precious Paws Aftercare Services. Dahil originally, yung first option ko, never replied back to my uh, messages and never returned all my calls. I used yung services nitong Precious Paws.
It took a while to sink in na uh, Max is already gone. Kahit na andito na yung um, urn niya sa bahay. Hirap akong ma-sort out at ma-recognize yung feelings of losing Max. I know some may not understand that losing a fur baby or a fur friend um, may not hurt as much as losing humans. Some are unable to appreciate the companionship and the unconditional love na only our fur bebe can provide. And Max was not just a dog or a pet dahil Max is a beloved member of our family. Grief to every fur parents can show up in many ways or stages. There's denial, anger, guilt, depression, and finally acceptance. As for me, I am feeling sad, shocked, and lonely, especially if there are memories that can trigger those feelings. My sister told me to face my grief and actively deal with it. And I also reach out to other fur parents who can understand the magnitude of my loss. At ang pinaka-importante doon, I still have two fur babies na kailangan din ako. And alam ko nararamdaman nila yung um, pain na nararamdaman ko. At baka ma-stress din sila. Lalo na si Taburnok dahil ang tagal nilang nagkasama ni Max. Kaya as much as possible, may maintain ko yung daily routines nila. Experiencing loss and dealing with it every day is an inevitable part of owning a pet. It can't be forced or hurried. And there's no normal timetable when it comes to grieving. I know when the time is right, healing process will naturally unfold for me.